Montessori school follows the dictum of contemporary education, which is synonymous with computer education, and COFAS International provides the students a golden opportunity to establish a stronger relationship with the computer-savvy culture of the present age. 16th International Computer Olympiad, COFAS 2012, organized by City Montessori School, Station Road Campus at the World Unity Convention Center Auditorium, is a keen contest that helps students become computer experts or genies who feel unhindered in carrying out complex operations related to computers. 500 young students from several renowned schools and colleges of Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh, Jordan and various states of India are participating. The teams were put up at the school's Kaizen and CISV guest houses in the campus of the World Unity Convention Center. Later, the teams registered themselves at the help desk. City Montessori School advocates a fine balance between material, human and divine education. Therefore, education must help society find its voice and inspire others to find theirs in an ever-advancing civilization. In the afternoon, the delegates came together for the group photograph and interacted with the members of the press. और ये पांच अन्य देश बाहर के देश हैं इस तरह छह देश इसमें हिस्सा ले रहे हैं इसमें सभी देशों से और इंडिया के सभी प्रांतों से जो टीमें आई हैं बहुत ही उच्च कोटि की टीमें हैं और अच्छे से अच्छे स्कूल इसमें हिस्सा ले रहे हैं उनके जो सर्वश्रेष्ठ बच्चे हैं वो इसमें हिस्सा ले रहे हैं जो वहाँ के बहुत ही टैलेंटेड बच्चे हैं तो द कॉम्पिटिशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी टफ ये बहुत ही एक कड़ा कंपटीशन, कड़ी प्रतिस्पर्धा होगी इसमें क्योंकि इसमें बहुत अच्छे योग्य बच्चे अपने अपने स्कूलों के सर्वश्रेष्ठ जो दुनिया के स्कूल हैं और उनके जो सर्वश्रेष्ठ बच्चे हैं दे आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग सो द कंपटीशन इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी टफ एंड वेरी हाई फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वी लाइक टू वेलकम ऑल दी डेलीगेट्स टीम लीडर्स एंड चिल्ड्रन हु आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग फ्रॉम वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडिया एज वेल एज फ्रॉम नेपाल the four-day International Computer Olympiad, COFAS 2012, was inaugurated in the evening by the arrival of the Chief Guest, Governor of Uttar Pradesh, His Excellency Mr. B. L. Joshi, who was received by the Founder-Manager of City Montessori School, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, Founder-Director, Dr. Bharati Gandhi, Chief Operating Officer and President, Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdon, and the Principal of Station Road Campus, who is also the convener of COFAS International, Mrs. Aruna Gupta. Once inside the auditorium, the huge big hall resonated with the school prayer. World Parliament was conducted by the senior students of the branch on various socially relevant and burning issues of today that need immediate intervention in terms of fast consultation at both the school level and in the society, followed by implementation through stringent government reforms. Uh -huh. That rocks the cradle. The procreator, the mother of tomorrow is a woman. A woman shapes the destiny of civilization. Such is the tragic irony of fate that a beautiful creation such as the girl child is today one of the gravest concerns facing humanity. With the volley of summits, conferences and events held for the cause, with topmost world leaders at the helm, what is the net result? Amidst a prose of gender equality and law enforcement, Female infants are still found dumped in trash by the dozens. Our society has dealt the girl child with a rough hand, starting even before birth till the dark of life. If we look closely at the situation of the girl child, we get a very alarming and a shocking picture. 
the indifferent attitude of the administration coupled with inefficient legislative implementation further adds to the woes of the girl child facing elimination and discrimination in her very right to live. If the girls are subjected to such atrocities and exploited so rampantly, the day is not far when the world will suffer its after effects. I would like to ask a question to my fellow members. Will this not endanger our very existence? Thank you, Member Nation Iran, for making us realize the importance of protecting women in our society. For further arguments in this, Member Nation, please volunteer. The phenomena of gender bias and female infanticide is as old as many cultures and has accounted for millions of gender selective deaths throughout history. In certain societies, women are taken for granted and are socially conditioned to accept secondary role. It is the most brutal and destructive manifestation of anti-female bias that pervades patriarchal societies. It is closely linked to the phenomenon of sex-selective abortion, which targets female fetuses almost exclusively and neglect the girl, girl child. Shockingly, a recent survey around the world revealed that the number of boys outnumbered girls. The sex ratio in my country is 1,060 males per 1,000 females. Thousands of sex discrimination tests have been carried out across the scores of private clinics, and the same is not declining despite such awareness on this issue. I want to ask, will ethics and morality ever come to rule over the psyche of man? The issue of corruption is very much interrelated with other issues. At a global level, the international economic system that has shaped the current form of globalization over the past decades requires further scrutiny for it has created conditions whereby corruption can flourish and exacerbate the condition of the people of the world who already have little say about their destiny. In our daily lives, most of us must have been a witness to or a victim of corruption thriving in some or the other part of the country. It could be in the form of a taxi driver manipulating the meter to pack up the reading or a government officer taking bribery to promptly transfer your file to the next department. Innumerable scams in various countries, including ours, aggravate the irony of the situation, making the common man question the whole issue altogether. Also at stake are the moral and ethical standards being followed the world over. The vital question is, do we allow corruption to eat up into our own system? The convener of COFAS International, Mrs. Aruna Gupta, in her welcome speech said, Technology such as internet has brought the world together in many ways and hoped through these competitions at COFAS International, the positive and healthy use of technology will permeate all across the society to keep us united for peaceful coexistence. As the world's largest school in the single city of Lucknow with over 45,000 students, CMS is bound to strive for the safety, security and welfare of the world's 2 billion children born and the generation yet to be born. There is a great need for introducing innovative methods in teaching today and, and that by enhanced by our new methods of technology. Team teaching, video conferencing, the internet, PowerPoint presentation, smart interactive boards, and modern teaching software have helped improve the standards of disseminating knowledge. There's a paradigm shift in teaching learning process where one has to move away from the teacher-centered style to a student-centered style. Students are no longer passive puppets but active participants in teaching learning process. The founder manager of City Montessori School, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, introduced the guests, His Excellency, the Governor of Uttar Pradesh, Mr. B. L. Joshi, and the Minister for Social Welfare, Government of Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Avadesh Prasad. We are extremely honored to have amongst us His Excellency, Mr. B. L. Joshi, Governor of Uttar Pradesh. And we are also honored to have amongst us Honorable Shri Avadesh Prasad Ji, Minister for Social Welfare, Mr. Avdeh Prashadji is a very 
well-known minister, very senior minister, he has been Uttar Pradesh Sabha mein aathmi baar nirvachi thogar pohunche hai. All religions prayer was performed with utmost devotion. Teri sharan mein koti vandana koti prana Ke buddha ki dharti yudhan chahe chahe aman parasti City Montessori School philosophy promotes Vidyalay hai sab dharmo ka ek hi tirad dham. Vidyalay hai sab dharmo ka ek hi tirad dham. Classroom shiksha ka mandir bache dev sama. Classroom shiksha ka mandir bache dev sama. It is said, do not curse darkness, instead light a lamp, the lamp lighting ceremony. The Chief Guest, His Excellency Mr. B. L. Joshi, together with the Minister for Welfare Government of Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Avadesh Prasad, was invited to declare the International Computer Olympiad COFAS 2012 open. Hereby declare the 16th COFAS International Computer Olympiad 2012 open. Thank you, sir. Presiding over the function, the Minister for Social Welfare, Uttar Pradesh, Mr. Avadhesh Prasad said, Computer has brought revolutions in human life. Due to latest technologies in computer and internet, the nations have come closer to each other. The young scientists should grab the opportunity of shizzling their knowledge in such events as COFAS. कि आपने अपने सोलहवे कंप्यूटर महोत्सव के अवसर पर मुझे आमंत्रित करके सम्मानित करने का काम किया है इसके लिए आप सभी बधाई के पात्र हैं हमारे लिए एक अच्छा अवसर है ऐसे अवसर पर जब इस देश में बेरोजगारी बढ़ती जा रही है ऐसे वक्त पर कंप्यूटर की शिक्षा देना 
इस देश की बेरोजगारी को खत्म करने के लिए एक सराहनीय कदम है साइंस इज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ कल्चर इट इज वन ऑफ द ग्लोरीज ऑफ ह्यूमन इंटेलेक्चुअल ट्रेडिशन द चीफ गेस्ट शेयर हिज व्यूज विद द ऑडियंस वेन एवर आई हैव हैड ओकेजन to join this school in any of their functions one thing which strikes out is the precision the professionalism and the 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 the, the, the emphasis they lay on every minor detail of the programming and conduct the programs in a very professional manner the today's the world parliament but it was one such example where it was conducted in a very professional manner very efficiently and what impressed me most was the topics chosen by them to lay emphasis on and the manner in which the students presented their case I compliment the school for such a wonderful presentation of the world parliament function. This school system, this school system has the great honor and recognition of being the largest single school system anywhere else, and has been recorded in the Guinness Book of Records. I again compliment this school system for achieving this this great uh, recognition. Another thing which strikes out in my mind whenever I come here is the continuous effort of this school system to promote the concept of one world citizenship. I am not sure whether we will ever achieve that great utopian dream but it's a great concept to have and it certainly encourages the students to respect the opinions of each other of accepting the view points of other countries and a willingness to live in peace with each other i again compliment the school system for promoting this great idea Dr Geeta Gandhi Kington thanked the minister for presiding over the inaugural function of Gofas International His Excellency the Governor of Uttar Pradesh for kindly gracing this occasion and blessing Gofas 2012 with your presence sir So we feel genuinely encouraged and edified by your presence here and by the generous praise that you have showered on City Montessori School CMS Station Road campus uh, for the modest efforts that we have made for this evening and in general for the education of our children we'd also like to thank you for your kind comments about the precision and professionalism of this opening ceremony of gofas international 2012 earth is but one country and mankind its citizens it is time now that we come together to establish peace in the world for the globe is our only home World peace prayer by the students of CMS Station Road campus was a visual galore. In our quest for unity and peace, we cannot expect all to be the same. All our differences make us beautiful as a human race. The secret to unite mankind is found in this. I pray for unity and peace in all the nations of the world. Let the world be united. Let the world be united. Let the world be united. Faith in God remains the solid rock that stands unmoved amid the sliding sands. it sparks the minds and actions of men it is the source from which to draw strength in times of adversity faith in god is also the tie which binds mankind in a mystic unity 
South America lies almost fully in the southern and western hemisphere. South America is surrounded by water bodies on all sides, except in the north, where a narrow strip of land, the Isthmus of Panama, joins it to North America. The first European to reach South America was Christopher Columbus in 1498. South America is divided into four major physical divisions. These are the Western Mountains, the Central Lowlands, the Eastern Highlands, the Western Coastal Strip. It has the highest waterfall in the world, the Angel Falls in Venezuela, and the largest river, Amazon. I pray for the happiness of all the people of South America. May unity be among all the nations of South America. May unity prevail on earth. May unity prevail on earth. Unity with all people cannot be destroyed by national boundaries and national laws. By union, the smaller states strive. By discord, the greatest are destroyed. The strength of the national law can alone bind the world in unity and help to establish a global family. May the God who gives us endurance and encouragement give us a spirit of unity so that we all may glorify the name of God all together. Let all the world be united. Let all the world be All the teams were formally introduced and the team leaders honored. It is time to show our talent. It is time to use our brains. Yes, the Kofa's theme song. So here we go. Here are the excerpts of the cultural evening put up by the students of CMS Station Road Campus and brought to you by the online editing team of CMS Films and Radio Division. See how they took it. It is enough 